The controversial prairie dog hunting contest is on despite pleas and petitions to stop it. The week-long hunt started today in the Los Lunas gun shop hosting it says about 40 people are participating. News 13's Lizay Mitri has both sides of the debate. Hunters have until next Saturday to kill as many prairie dogs as they can to win a Los Lunas gun shops contest. Gunhawk Firearms says it's protecting hunters' rights and supporting farmers and ranchers with the contest. If we don't have, you know, some type of incentive, then uh, the population just grows and grows and grows and nothing, you know, is done. Uh, and it gets out of hand. Anna Davidson, who studies prairie dog ecology and conservation, disagrees. She says the drought and infections of the plague among prairie dogs have significantly decreased the population in New Mexico. Prairie dog colonies were extensive throughout this region. That just gives you a feeling for how much prairie dogs have declined because now the only place we see them are in these small little patches where they've been surrounded by concrete. Just like Gunhawk's coyote killing contest in November, the prairie dog hunt prompted dozens of calls and emails in protest, and again, even some death threats. Several groups sent letters like this one to city leaders and state legislators. They're not just concerned about this contest, they're working to outlaw all hunting contests, while Gunhawk works against them to expand. Future contest, I think we'll have uh, a lot of support with some satellite stores that'll that'll uh, participate with us. They're in talks with about five other stores throughout the state. Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. A House bill in February to make coyote killing contests illegal failed by about eight votes.